Gang, 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 what's popping with y'all, man? What's popping with y'all, man? Welcome back to another episode of Street University, gang. I am your host, Connor Slaughter, and I would like for y'all to hit that subscribe button if you have it. And if you haven't hit that like button already, hit that like button, man. You already know how we come in, gang. Let's get into it. Yes, sir, let's get into it, man. Hey, <clears throat> now, 10 gadgets, they say that to give a superpower, gang. I don't know how true that is, you feel me? I really don't, you hear me? I don't know how true that is. Let me slap that head on y'all. See that visible top up there? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want that. Okay, so look, I don't know how true that is, right? So we got to figure it out together, right? Yes, sir. We got to figure it out together. And that's what I want to do. I want to see what's happening with these objects that post to give us superpowers, as they say, gang. So I'm going to present this screen and, and hopefully uh, we don't get a... Uh, one of those strikes again, man. I hate uh I hate getting them strikes definitely when I want to present some game. You feel me? Because some of the information be intricate. So at the end of the day, let's get it. All right, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Hey. And while we get it, I am going to be uh, on this game a little bit. So don't mind me. I'm playing Tony Hawk. Some of y'all probably should download Tony Hawk because I'm going to get it. You feel me? If you may. And let's get it popping, gang. Let's see what's up, though, man, with this right here. You feel me? Because I really want to know more. Um, I really want to know more. Let's go, man. It's ain't number 10. Bullet Bespoke suit. bulletproof suit. Sometimes I feel 10 feet tall and bulletproof. Then the bartender cuts me off. Turns out there's a way to at least get the bulletproof part down without drinking. Drawn Tony and Taylor's Garrison Bespoke have created a bespoke bulletproof suit. The fabric is bulletproof with lightweight carbon nanotubes, custom tailored into a suit for your specifications. Many of Garrison's clients work in the diamond or other high-risk industries and feel the need for a suit to protect them from more than just the elements. The material is thinner, lighter, and more flexible than Kevlar, but designed to harden to block like a bullet. bullet. Wow, this is really cool. I don't think my wallet is bulletproof enough to handle one. A single suit reportedly costs twenty thousand. Oh, on my life, twenty thousand. Hey, I'm with dude on that. I don't think the wallet is bulletproof enough to handle that price. Hey, what y'all think, gang? No, not at all. See, nah, they went a little far with that bulletproof suit, though. You feel me? Like, come on, man. Really, a bulletproof suit? Now, I know millionaires. There's some millionaire out there somewhere that got that suit, man. Come on, man. Don't be jacking, gang. I know it's one of you millionaires out there that got this suit. But at the end of the day, let's be real. Us public people can't get that. Us people that reside in the hood or reside in the suburban areas, we cannot get that, gang. Let's be real. You feel me? But let's keep going. I like the way he was trying to get us. Thousand dollars. Number nine. Robot exoskeleton gives you Hulk strength. If I really did have 20 grand in my wallet, I... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, I heard about this, gang. The uh, Robo exoskeleton. Yes, I heard about this. I seen this actually. Um, I think this is a nice investment right here. Yes, this will be a nice investment. Only if we had that much money to buy this goddamn suit. Lord knows how much it costs. God damn it, I ain't got that much motherfucking money. I don't know what y'all think I'm pushing up. You feel me? But at the end of the day, us black people in the community we live in, in the minority communities, we cannot buy that suit. What's wrong with these people, guy? I don't know what's wrong with them, but. You know, I appreciate y'all showing us and getting us prepared for what we're going to be seeing, jumping around us and shit. You feel me? Everybody in the motherfucking suits just leaping all over everywhere and shit like that, gang. It's cool. I'm with it. But uh, we ain't got the funds for that right now, white people. No disrespect. Keep going. I might need help picking it up. I could use the Cyberdyne house suit, which gives the wearer superhuman strength to carry heavy loads, which would be useful in the real world for other jobs involving heavy lifting. It uses a network of sensors to monitor the electrical impulses the wearer's brain puts out. This is done with EEG, which stands for electroencephalography. Try saying that three times fast. Because of this, the suit is basically operated by mind control. Although it weighs 130 pounds, it walks with you. And with superhuman strength, who's going to notice carrying an extra 130 pounds? Number eight, Pyro Fire Shooter. Ever wanted the ability to shoot fireballs like Pyro? Yes, we all did. I know y'all did. Shit, I did. If you didn't, I did for you. Pyro from X-Men? 
All you need is the Pyro Fire Shooter, which attaches to your wrist and allows you to carry four fireballs worth of charge. You activate the device with the remote held in your other hand. I think you'll have to check the local fire codes before playing with this device, though. Number seven, work And y'all can't say that ain't Beastie. You cannot say that it's not Beastie Gang. That's Beastie. He said all you do is click the other button in your other hand to control the fire game. That's cold as hell. Some of us used to wish we was power off of X-Men gang when we was kids. You feel me? Some of us wish we was the fireman or blaze. You feel me? Or you like, come on, man. Any one of those people, ghost, uh, uh, ghost rider, any one of them that can just make fire, just like burst from us gang. You feel me? At the, at the snap of a finger. That's cold. So, Y'all, with those uh, little coins ready to spend, the little dollars burning a hole in your pocket, you better get ready to save up and go buy that there. I'm telling you, gang, you won't be disappointed. Now, a man named Yves Rossi that right has there, invented a... Hold on, what if we're getting a Yves Rossi? That machine right there, I want that. Nigga, that's off Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Gang, y'all remember when uh, on San Andreas when we used to get the jetpack? My nigga used to fly in the air and shit, gang. Oh, my mama, what you mean? That's the same shit. I would like that. Except for with all the wings de decoration and shit like that. Yeah. But that jetpack right there, I would love that. Boy, I'll be everywhere. Las Vegas, California. What you mean? Washington, D.C. What you mean? I'll be everywhere. Oklahoma, Utah, Mississippi. Everywhere. Everywhere, St. Louis. I mean, Missouri. Back to this old born ass state, you know. But uh, let's keep going. A working jetpack. Just like something you see in the movies. This thing can reach a stunning 160 miles per hour, and Rosie often uses it to make quick six-minute flights. Unfortunately, it's not ideal for long-distance travel due to the amount of fuel it uses. This is a... Hey, Rosie, better be careful out there. You heard him, Rosie. Use it to travel that far and that fast. Uh, she better be careful, or he better be careful, whoever that lady is, for them to flop out that motherfucker and the uh, seatbelt end up breaking on them like a vehicle. Ain't no telling how safe that thing is, but that thing do look fun. It do look enjoyable, too, gang. I ain't gonna lie to you. But, man, listen, that's almost worse as jumping out of an uh, airplane, gang. That's worse as skydiving, what y'all talking about. And I know half of y'all black people be scared to skydive, so stop playing. This is a problem for all jetpack tech meaning more than a quick hop would require you to carry large amounts of heavy fuel, which would force it to expend even more energy, lifting the extra Let's weight off up. the ground. But hey, I'm sure I'll look really cool and futuristic taking it for a quick run down the block to the corner store. However, man, you better wear some glasses with that motherfucker, all that air getting in your goddamn mouth and your nose. I don't know how you're going to breathe. I don't know how he expect to breathe. He talking real greasy, and y'all hear him? You know, it look real cool. I look cool flying. No, the hell you want, nigga, once all that air hitting in your motherfucker nose, your ass gonna be dead flying down to the ground, nigga, on that motherfucker. Mission up or fuck you talking about, gang. If you want to fly over water, just get some jet blades. Though this is another oh. invention that requires the superpower of being rich. That's because you'll need I seen that. I seen a few people out there on the lakes or oceans with that, whatever the hell, you know, and that looked fun, dog. Come on now, black people. I know you're America. I know y'all will get on it. I know y'all will take that five G's and buy that. You know, that look more funner than spending your five G's on that toilet. Vlad was talking about that. Wipe your ass and wash your ass for you. And you never got to use a piece of toilet paper again. That's what that remind me of, gang. But actually a little more funner, like I said. Still got the waterworks and shit like that. That shit crazy. It's $5,995 to afford it. What are your superpowers again? I'm rich. If you have them, you can actually fly above water for as long as you want, thanks to a hose. I'm rich. That's my superpower. Shout out to gang. Y'all hit that subscribe and that like button. They hit different when you rich. That is the superpower in the gang. Trails from the back of the suit and uses the water to power the journey. But you might want to put on your bulletproof suit for a little extra protection. As the company's website notes that there's a learning curve and safe is a relative term. Number six, enhancing your mind. Want to move objects with your mind like that kid in Stranger Things? Yes, there's an invention for that too. A so-called brain cap invented by researchers at the University of Maryland is a non-invasive sensor-lined cap that like the Cyberdyne app. Technology is taking off, gang. Y'all better get with it to get lost. What y'all waiting on, man? Y'all better learn how to operate that technology, gang. See, if y'all paid attention, they creating all this AI to take the people jobs. You feel me? They creating all the AI to take all your job working motherfucking jobs, gang. You feel me? And at the end of the day, they gonna need a job to operate with these AIs until these AIs smart enough to operate themselves. Cause this gonna happen. It's gonna take place, trust me. But um, 
we need to be in line to learn how to operate this, man. You feel me? Stop playing around, gang. Let's get to it, man. Watch what they show us, man. Look at this. Halsuit operates using EEG. Essentially, it uses your brain waves to control a computer or other networked objects. Researchers designed it to help individuals with disabilities like paralysis. However, it's possible that with further development, it may one day be available to anyone who needs a boost. Now, I wonder if I can change the TV channel with my mind. That truly would be game-changing. Believe it or not, the Royal College of Art has produced its own superhero device to augment some of our senses. The Eidos mask has a superhero feel to it because it looks like a large mask. But Look, a the Eidos mask, what is that? Do you all see this technology they are coming out with, gang, that we have no sense of, you know, what it is around us? You heard me? What is that? Who is that? Like, gang, like this, it, it's ridiculous, man. And we need to keep up with the times, man. We need to be turning when the table's turning. Y'all see this? Pay attention, man. I don't even know what the hell this is. I'm looking, man. We're learning together. Apart from just looking cool, it amplifies visual or auditory signals. Researchers say that because we're bombarded with these all the time, the mask makes things easier by honing in on one signal and amplifying it. For example, if you're trying to listen to one conversation at a crowded party, the mask could filter out those voices and amplify them, reducing background noise. Or if you're attending a concert, you could zoom in on the sound of a particular instrument. The sight augmenting... That's cold, bro. Now, that's cold, bro. Y'all can't tell me that ain't cold, gang. Hit that like button. We all know that's cold, gang. That's ultra. What are you talking about? You feel me? You can zoom in on what you really want to hear and listen to and it'll do that. That's cold. What you mean? That's ultra. What do you say? Sight augmented? That's raw. I don't know what y'all talking about. Y'all better get hit to get lost, man. Come on now. Aspect is similar to long exposure photography, refining an image, then displaying it in mass goggles. Number five, superhero armor. Batman and Iron Man have a mask and armor that's so impressive, the military wants them too. They've developed a so-called Iron Man exoskeleton, or Talos suit, that increases mobility and strength with robotics. Talos stands for Tactical Assault Light Operator Suit, and in addition to increasing strength, it's also bulletproof, weaponized, and can monitor the wearer's vital signs. So if a soldier wearing the suit lightly punches someone, the suit amplifies the strength behind it, creating a punch that can smash through wooden planks. The wearer also means the ability like to... Jax, gang. Do y'all see that? Almost like Mortal Kombat Jax. That means once you got this on you, gang, you hitting like, you know what I'm saying? You <laughs> hitting like a superhero. What you mean? I ain't want to break my Xbox joystick, gang. But on my mama, you dog, that's cold. I don't know what y'all are missing out there, man. Y'all better get hit. Ability to lift up Hit rockets and button. rocket launchers like their shotguns. Meanwhile, what? the suit is still flexible enough to do push-ups in, even though push-ups aren't on my list of superpowers. Again, researchers are still trying to improve the suit's efficiency, as increased power demand might require increased weight because of its power source. Number four, finer motor controls. Summoning ghosts on the go would be a pretty cool superpower, and while there's nothing that can use our hands... Hand now, finer... Motor controls, I think that's an excellent technology to come up with because nowadays I hear a lot of OGs out there having trouble with their hands. They, you know, like the motor functions of their bodies and their joints and, you know, such things of that nature, gang. And I think that's a fine uh, invention to come up with, gang. That's a fine technology and invention to come up with due to the fact it can help so many people out there. And it's going to bring a, a lot of income and jobs, you know, for people. So you all better get ready, man. Listen. And, and gestures, gestures for that just yet. yet. We're, We're getting, getting closer by the year. One, One such awesome, awesome device aiming to perfect our fine motor, motor controls is, is the Ouija band. band. This, this device is, is an electronic counterweight to attach to your wrist. wrist. Using, Using a gyroscoping gyro gimbal, it senses fine, fine motor, motor movements and, if it deems it necessary, smooths them out. This can help everyone, from surgeons who want to cut in a straighter line to athletes who want to improve their back. And now that's cold, gang. You feel me? That's cold. And a lot of this stuff, I'm going to have to go back on myself, like I said, and uh, do my research on it myself because I love technology, man. Technology is the world, and I think that's what the world is moving into, gang. And I think a lot of us need to move with it, man, turn when the tape's turn. But let's keep going, man. 
hand or golf stroke. Artists could use it to draw perfect circles, and it might even be able to help study the hands of people with neurological illnesses like Parkinson's disease. Then there's kinesio wear, the artificial muscle designed for all of us. It's similar to kinesio tape, which sticks on and microscopically lifts the skin to alleviate discomfort. Kinesio wear goes further, providing a stick-on muscle. You attach it anywhere you want, and it can do everything from tapping you on the shoulder to supporting your muscles while you swim, run, or do other exercises. It can be worn for weeks at a time, charging inductively through chargers that can be situated in chairs. Now that's cold, gang. You see what I'm saying? They're working on technology that enhance life itself. You know what I'm saying? Most people call that playing God. But um, in some sense, I think uh, I used to be one of those people that used to call it that. But in some sense, I believe that's helping us, gang. I ain't going to lie, because a lot of this stuff people do need nowadays, man. You feel me? A lot of people out there complain about a lot of these things that they are creating these in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in investments and, and these in, uh, inventions for gang. Forgive me for that, but it was so serious on my mind. I'm thinking, man, RP my pops, because some of this stuff he could have used, man. Like that that thing right there, he could have used that on his leg, man. He used to always complain about his leg, man. You feel me? And that was sort of the reason he had to quit the work. So you feel me? Forgive me for that stutter. But it was on my mind. It was, it was that deep. But I see where they're going with this, man. And I see where they're going with it in life, gang. I think we do, as a black people, as a whole culture, we need to turn with the tables, man. Look at what's going on. Look at technology. Look at where the world is going. Or beds. Kinesio wear communicates by subtle shoulder tugs and works with other devices, like a smartphone. Number three, light bending invisibility cloak. I've been told I blend in with the wallpaper a few times no. and never considered it. Now that's cold. Now I've seen this only in Harry Potter gang, but that's cold. I already knew they had it out there. I knew the army had it somewhere high and somewhere. You already know how they go. They got to keep the best technology for themselves, right? Yes, of course. But at the end of the day, ooh. Boy, when the public get their hands on this, it is going to go down. But by the time we do get our hands on that, you better believe it's going to be so many cameras around the world. So many types of 4K uh, devices, you know what I'm saying? Aimed and ready with infrared and um, uh, heat uh, scoping technology to see through all of that mess. So, you know, just get ready, man. Prepare. Heard it a superpower until now. To perfect this skill, the military has created a technology to actually make a person invisible. They developed it for defense purposes, but it could one day have commercial uses for anyone who wants to disappear. You know, like your everyday bank robber. This invisibility cloak is said to make you disappear into your surroundings in a chameleon-like way. It uses metamaterials, which reflect light to create an optical illusion. By bending light around an object, it allows you to see right through it. That's if you are the object, Hey, presto, you're invisible. Now that's cold, gang. Like I said, on Harry Potter, and they happen to show it. That is raw. You feel me? At its finest. I can't lie to y'all, gang. But um, I'm going to have to wrap it up right there, man. I ain't mean to hold y'all that long, but I love y'all, man. And I thank y'all for joining. Like I said, gang. Um, at the end of the day, I just had to tap in with y'all on that and just watch some of that new technology that's coming out. And let's tap in with it, gang. You feel me? Hey, y'all stay safe out there, man. Y'all keep y'all head up, man. Watch a circle for the energy because those that's close to you be the one that murk your gang. I am out. Man, you bitch niggas better any your butt elevate. I need six figure money. Won't have a buck, say hella cake. Fuck why I've been on dummy. Shooting hella ops, make them a day. If not him, then kill his mama. Make him feel this wrath in the hell away. Hydro shock, but his eye make him his chest watch as they swim away. I don't stop shooting till you die in your last breath and then I skid away. This a hollow tip.